in here tonight. I don't know what's going on with my phone tonight. My phone actually bugging up and it's and it's slanted. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hold on, I'm gonna bring my man Sonny Winters in here. You know what I'm saying? How about bring on? Go live with Sonny. Come and talk to me, man, for a little second before you know I guess jump in. You know what I'm saying? I just requested for Sonny to come up in here. Sonny waiting for Sonny. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, there's a lot of stuff going on out here today. And um, I don't think it's fair what's going on at that White House. Nobody got locked up. Nobody got shot. Man, I'd rather, some, I'd rather see all them boys get shot up. I mean, to, be, to keep it 100 with you. You know what I'm saying? And, and no retaliation. I'm seeing a black security or police, whatever, in the White House running. I mean, it, it, it was straight ludicrous to me. It was straight ludicrous. You know what I mean? I, I never seen nothing like that in my life. You know what I'm saying? Never in my life, my 40 something years, I ain't gonna tell y'all my age, but my 40 something years in life, I never seen that before. You know what I'm saying? Sonny Winters, man, what's good, brother? I'm young peace, girl. How are you, man? I'm, I'm all right, man. I'm all right, man. I'm, I'm going straight to the point, man. How do you feel about what's going on with this capital stuff? How do you feel what's going on, man? I like to hear your opinion. I feel like it's um. It's a good sign in a way that it shows us. I like when people show their true colors, especially with the white people in America. Um, and, and, and hopefully it makes us realize that we stay focused on what we got to do. You understand what I'm saying? Just like just like we are Flatbush, like during the whole pandemic, dudes is in the hood giving out food. Dudes is at shelter. Staying what we had to do, focus. Everybody just got to stay focused. Let them tear this down. Let them tear this down. They making themselves look crazy. They showing their true hand. We just gotta stay the course, man, and keep getting this crypto, keep getting this land, keep you know building the communities. This is the things we gotta do. That, that's a fact. I, I feel you on that. Yo, let, let them keep on breaking it down. You know what I'm saying? But like that. But, but the real thing, what everybody's just saying, like if it was, it, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, you, like, like, we know that though. But pop, we know that because you know. I mean, I know your mom's. Like she probably told you, like my mom said, you know, you can't do with little white Kevin. Yeah, yeah. You can't do it. You can't do that. You already know, and we know that. That's why. That's why. Look in these situations. Look what we doing. We helping each other. We in the hood. Like we trying to stay clear of that. Not none of that. We got. We focused right now. They gonna kill each other, yo. They gonna kill each other. I, that, I don't know about that part. I don't think they are gonna kill each other. I just think that. Oh, at least they out the way. They got no choice. Who they gonna kill? Think about this. Who they was going in? What they was going in there to do? Cause you tear the building down, the election still stands, right? So they gonna go in there and just start draping up congressmen and beating them up like y'all change your vote. Like what the fuck are they gonna do? Who's the congressman? A bunch of old white dudes. Beat them up. Beat them up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, beat them up. Beat them up. Yo, the, but the only one bad thing I ain't like, I seen a black security police, whatever. I, ain't like that. I, ain't, I, I was talking with Ace. I was talking with Ace about that earlier. On his defense, and, and he like, and why he ain't, why he ain't shoot, Bob? Why he ain't shoot? But can you know why? Can he know he done been in trouble? Hell no! Like you, yo, you storm a Capitol building. That is an insurrection. That that's not like a fight. Me and you can have a fight. On the steps, and we're going to jail. We had it with each other, like not even with the boys. These they went in, dude walked out with the whole podium, like, <laughs> <laughs> like yo, and was smiling. But you know what it shows us, though? It shows us that they really feel like they own this. They can't take no L's. They're not taking no L's. You know what I'm saying? Like, how dare people get together and vote for who they want to vote for? We was already doing something already. Nah, they're not with none of that. No, that, that they definitely not with it, and I see, and, I, and they showing us every day, and they showing us every day. But but, I hope something like this open up my eyes, open up your eyes, open up everybody's eyes on the live, open up everybody's eyes in the world to say, yo, you see what you see what they doing? See what they doing? What they doing? They was doing it to us. Y'all ain't say nothing. Y'all doing it to themselves. Which I gonna say now? Now nah, I'm saying now look, now they be trying to say we do the same shit, but yeah. they say that we. We being more conscious now. So you know what I mean? We gotta start showing our youth and everybody, yo, don't do what they do. But you know what, truthfully though, we don't really, people try to compare like Black Lives Matter. People be, be, be fighting to say, stop killing us. M motherfuckers is fighting right now 
because they took a loss. It's been, what is this, 45 presidents, 46 presidents? Somebody lose, somebody win. We move on. If we all, quote, unquote, American. Right. I, I don't get it. But I'm just glad, yo, Pop, I'm, that's word of the mother. I'm just glad I ain't seen not many black faces out there. Mm. Like, I, I I seen the one dude standing in a building. It was a meme with the one black dude with the bubble goose on. And it said, yo, if I was a stimmy, where would I hide? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yo, what the fuck is he doing there? He's probably looking for a, a, a stimmy for real. That's crazy. But yo, we got a we got another guest in here. I'm glad you're here. here. I know Chinese Nikki is in here. Where you at, Nikki? I'm here. Hello. Sunny Willa, glad for you for jumping in and speaking your piece Indeed. about what's going on today. We got we got we got Chinese Nikki somewhere in the in this bubble. All right. Chinese Nikki, where you at, man? I know I just seen you up in here. I just seen Nikki up in here. She just came up in here. Where's she at? I'm trying to see her name. That's what I'm trying to find. Here we go. What Chinese Nikki at? Yeah, I can't get to her. Yeah, I don't know how to do this shit, boy. Oh, here we go. Chinese Nikki. Here we go. I just sent her a request. Yeah. Yes. Hello. We have Chinese Nikki here. Yeah. Hi. From Brooklyn, Flatbush. What's good with you? I was all good with me, baby. I'm, you know, we're getting straight to the point. How yes, do you what's feel, up? How do you feel what's going on at the Capitol? How do I you... am so appalled. Mm. Oh, you know what? Salute, little man. No, no, no. I want to hear it. Salute, little man. Tell him how Yo, you feel. Listen, goodbye. Bye, baby. Bye. I'm appalled. I'm appalled. I don't even know where to get started. Like... Mm. We fucked up letting that man ever think to run the country. Right. That's like, we fucked up with that. Like, totally fucked up with that one. He, dra hey, look what he drags in. Like, all kinds of fuckery. Like, all kinds. This, he's running this country on, on personal ego. Mm. That's just what it's about. Okay. Like, so, like, it, we, we just fucked up with that. So now, now America is trying to make right of, of a situation that's gone completely wrong. Like, so now they're trying to, give me one second. I got to close this goddamn door. <laughs> Don't worry about me. See, just keeping it real, boy. We out here live. You know what I mean? This real family. She taking care of the family. What are you <laughs> time to come on to your flat, boy. And we're going to salute that. We, that's that's real right there. I respect that. I can't, but handle her I business. Can't, I can't. Or her business. <laughs> on air or off, or off air. That's 100. <laughs> Continue. Back. Yo, so, I mean, to watch that, to watch what took place yesterday was mm. so fucking appalling on so many levels. Like, I was outside when when we were protesting Black Lives Matter. Yeah, I see you. I remember I, I watching... I remember a guy just standing on the CNN building and I remember the police bringing him down and arresting him. Like, just standing on the, the letters, just the letters yeah. of the CNN, yeah. just standing outside. Listen, I saw so many innocent people just getting arrested and literally, I mean, they try to handle me while mm. I was outside. They try to handle me. And I wasn't female, male, it doesn't matter. Female, male, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. They were, they were fucking with me hard, like, for no reason. So for them to make it inside, bus windows, literally Got go to... Got police running. In the Got police running. Yo, listen. In Capitol Hill, in the, 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 actual, the actual hall where the, mm. the lawmakers make the law, having them hiding underneath the seats. I couldn't, all I kept thinking is, that could be my parents, that could be my mother, that could be my father, that could be my uncle. These are older people. It was so appalling. Do you know what we look like to the world? That we <laughs> have no, no, like, no control over what's going on in our country? I talked to my friend in England and he asked me, he was like, yo, P, what's going on out there? Yo, we yo, look so bananas. I watched said, last night, I watched the news, and they went around the world asking questions. It just looks like we can allow anything to go on in here. Oh, that's not... And, and, it's just and that that's, easy? It's just that easy. 
Nikki. We look like we're so out of fucking control by a bunch of hillbillies, hillbilly <laughs> bubbers that can literally just storm the fucking capital and take over. And we mm. can't do anything about it. We have a bunch of police officers that, that's not equipped. Some of them don't give a shit enough to fight. Mm. They shouldn't be there. They shouldn't that's, be there. They should, that's, a, that's a fact. They shouldn't They're be there. They're standing there trying to defend, defend and, and, and protect the, the, the capital. They basically just, just stood to the side and just let them just, just go in. What, what? They opened the gate for them. What are you talking about? They opened the gate for they them. had a video they where they the said letting them go through. It's just, it's show, yo, when I tell you, I just watched that in disbelief. Like, I can't even believe that this is really I'm real. Walls. I'm seeing people climb the wall like it's Mexico, all types of shit. Yo, listen, but what's even more disgusting to me is they had all of those people right there. They didn't think to lock them up. Where were the fucking no. rubber bullets at? Where was the tear gas? Where are all these things that had well, us they, all running? And when Black Lives Matter, they, they, they did... I Yo, think, past 9 p.m., you're getting shot. Yeah, past all right, 9 p.m., anywhere it, it, in the world, I mean, anywhere in America, if you were outside past curfew during our protest, you were getting shot. Well, none of them were getting shot. None of them got, they I, dragged this little boy out of the car, like, maced him, fucked him up, because it was like mm. nine ten, he was outside with his girlfriend. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I remember that. I remember that. I remember that. I remember that one. That was in ATL, right? That was in Atlanta. So we're, we're we're talking about the 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 the, the Capitol, the yo, Capitol Hill, where there's mm. so many important people in that building. How you could compare? How they could try to compare, or they trying to Black Lives Matter with this shit? Yo, listen, we there is not one person, like that. person, not even the Democratic or Republican, that can that can argue that. That can argue that if it was a Black Lives Matter thing, everybody would, they would have handled it completely different. Totally different. I heard Everything would have been handled different. But I heard Biden. Ass, rubber bullets. They were shooting women in the face. But do you hear, do you hear that Biden, Biden granddaughter, made a statement like that she's like grandpa said, like yeah, i watched that i watched that but my, disgusting. He, now even a little kid like that could recognize what's going on and know this is like really did you see control. where trump was when it happened no i didn't know where, where trump was at trump was in, watching it like a watch party they were having a watch party at a remote location with all of his followers watching it on a screen tv cheering it on I ain't he see needs that. to be prosecuted. You got to send me up. He needs to be prosecuted. Oh, definitely. I heard they're trying to impeach him everything right now. They, they, yeah, because they don't they want him to come trailer. back for a second they term. Him. So if, if, if they impeach him, he can't even think about coming back, running again, right. ever again. Uh, coming back? He's going to jail. Get him out of here. Get him the fuck out of here. He was a nightmare. He was, I can't even believe, like, every day I woke up for four years, I couldn't fucking believe that that man made it to the fucking White House. I could not. Nikki, I think the whole world is saying that. It's like, the stuff that he was saying, he was the, a president that the Yo, and represent us as a whole would say dumb shit like, hey, like, this ain't disrespectful shit. Disrespectful shit. And then, and then you know what? It, it, it made me so fucking angry like, to watch our people just care about fucking financial financial gain and care more about about you know oh a stimulus fucking check that they forgot about these kids that were fucking engaged at, at the mm -hmm. borders and not just Mexican, not just Mex Haitian, Jamaican, right. Guyanese, you, you mm. know, Panamanian people that were just literally living in cages, taken away from their parents. Living in camp, kids living in feces, away yeah, but, from their parents for six months, eight months, a year. Like, wait, how the fuck? Like, kids, ain't I, no I, fucking, $1,000 ain't worth nobody's life. Yeah, that's a fact. That's a motherfucking fact. $600, $1,000, that's nothing. How can you like, feel? You know, and, and, but, oh, because if Biden gets in, we're not going to get that money. Like, how fucking shallow are we? Are we how, like, how shallow are we? I, Nobody cares about the lives of children and the lives of fucking immigrants. I'm an immigrant. I'm a fucking immigrant. You're an immigrant. GT scum. You fucking GT. We GT. I remember ICE going up in my family's house in in your past couple of years and taking.
taking taking my fucking cousins and people away. Like that shit is no joke. They had my girlfriend that I was waiting for uh, for fucking carnival two years ago. She never made it. I'm waiting. I'm like, what happened to her? They had her in ice for a week oh, coming from Jamaica. Oh wow! Like that shit is no joke. Like I take that very personal. So, you know, the fact that people just think that, oh, it's all about a fucking check. Get a fucking backbone. I'm Get a talking job. To fucking shallow ass people in this world. This generation is, sh is something else, boy. Something else. <laughs> they wanted, they was about to run for, let him run for another time. Bugging. <laughs> so you see, Bugging. Man, if you, Georgia, you see, Georgia said hell no. You see, Georgia no. said hell no. No. You, you gotta go. You gotta go, buddy. You gotta you go. Gotta Everybody go. hates him. Like everybody, everybody. Hates them. the people that were right there on Capitol Hill in DC are the fucking people that voted for him. That's why you lost, because those are all the people that 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 cheer you on. Nobody else gives a fuck about you. But the fucking bubbers, the red fucking the, the rednecks. The bubbers mm. in the of the world. <laughs> what you call them? The bubbers? Bubbers, that's what they call a Bubba. Like bub <laughs> like a hillbilly, Bubba. You know that's their name? The men name me always be Bubba. Oh, the bubble. <laughs> yeah, bubble. I, I, I heard hillbilly, but that bubble shit, I ain't never heard that. Yeah, one. no, I heard it on. Um, I watched a movie the other day. Um, the uh, it was about the Unabomber, not the Unabomber, the guy who bombed the Olympics. Oh, that was Timothy. Yeah, was that Timothy? Timothy? No, no, no. That was Ar That was Arkansas or or Oklahoma. No, the Oklahoma bombing. No, the guy that bombed the Olympics, like back in. I don't even know when it happened, but I watched the movie about this chase. They they chased this guy. He was on the run for like a good five years after he bombed the Olympics. He was bombing abortion clinics. He was bomb but he was living in the woods. And there's a lot of these people that live in these remote places like Montana and, and Dakota and in the Midwest. And they live and they, they call them bubbas. Like you know, to us, they're rednecks, but to, you know, amongst each other. Hillbillies. You know, Hillbillies, yeah. <laughs> but you saw it? Yes. They were like, yeah, I saw it, I saw it, I saw it. Yeah, that movie was phenomenal. I, I, I never heard it. I've never seen it. Gotta I, watch I, I gotta go check gotta it out. Gotta watch it. I was stuck. It's a series. Gotta watch it. It's based on a true story. Just the fact that the FBI in America allows the fucking things to go on. This chase went on for years. And, and, and the mm. FBI set up set up a camp for years to catch one guy outside of, I think it was like North Carolina. Nobody knew about this. We didn't even know until the series what just came out. What year was this? I don't know when it happened, but it, the, the, it's on oh. Netflix right now. But it's about these okay. type of people. They're radical. Everybody check that movie out. N listen, that movie is phenomenal. I almost watched it again. Look, she like she said I was locked in. That's my girl. Yeah, I was locked yeah, in. Yeah, I'm seeing everybody talking about it right here in the comments. The movie I'm is insane. That. You gotta watch it. There it is. Eric Rudolph. The movie was phenomenal. Oh, phenomenal. Eric Rudolph. I think they chased this guy for maybe a good four to seven years, and he just you lived in one area in in, you know in in the hills. But this is what I'm trying to tell you. It's a lot of these little little pocket places that these people live in. So mm. you can kind of get to understand them more when you watch this movie. Okay. Hey, okay, but Nick, hey, what's good? Nick, I'm glad you for jumping in. Glad, thank I'm glad you, Nick, you for jumping thank in. Thank you. I got special Ed jumping in next. Thank you for yes, sleeping. I'm gonna watch. All right, what's thank up, you, Nick. Eddie? All right. <laughs> All right. Bye, guys. Love you. Love you too. We love. Bye, y'all. Mm. Bye. Oh, uh, damn, boy. I got Ed up here. Where Ed at, man? Ralph and Daniel, I see you up in here, too, boy. What's up? Hold on. We got here. Hold up. There's a special Ed at. I see Ralph and Daniel. I'm going to go along with Ralph. Yo, Ed, I didn't see you. Click the link, Ed, to say you're ready to go on. Yo, Ralph, what's up? You're going to talk to my man, my uncle, everybody's uncle. Uncle Ralph, Whoa, what's going on? I can't see Uncle Ralph yet. Hold on. Can't see. Trying to find y'all guys. I'm trying to find special ed here on this thing here. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Work with me. Work with me. Search special ed. 
Oh, here we go. I just got special ed. I hit a request for special ed. Yes. Oh, we go. Here we go. We got the youngest in charge, but the growing in charge. Nah, well, we gonna get him. Yo, what up, pop? What's good, brother, man? You're going to get straight to the point, man. We got yeah, special what's goody? Building. Now, how do you feel what's going on at the Capitol? What's your opinion what's going on in the Capitol? And do you feel that Black Lives Matter would have been... How do you feel about the Black Lives Matter, how they treated us and how they treated them? Well, for one, that was a lovely performance at the Capitol yesterday. <laughs> I applaud all the actors and actresses that came out to make it what it was. Um, the the podium was a beautiful touch. Beautiful. I wish I could have bought it, but it's going <laughs> right back to where it came from because you know it was it, it's part of the whole thing. They smiling. They, I mean, you know what it was. You could see what it was. Actually, I saw footage of them ushering them in. Like, come on, the police ushering everybody in. Like, <laughs> opening the gates. Come on in. So yeah, at the end of the day, it, you know, the, the smoke and mirrors is over, man. Like the games is being played. That was just staged. You know, that was staged for the people to have a psycho psychological effect. And um, at the end of the day, we, I ain't playing no games with nobody, man. I don't even watch TV. All the information that I gathered was from the few minutes that I scrolled down my timeline. It was like, Damn, this clown, these clowns is really going in right now, you know. So I don't watch TV. You know, I just got some TV on. I watch a little music or whatever, meditate, elevate, levitate, you know what I'm saying, all that type shit. But otherwise, I don't subscribe to the foolishness. You know, I, I'm on my business from the beginning, so whatever. I'm going to stay home. I'm going to chill. That's what I like to do. That's what mm -hmm. I prefer to do, you know what I'm saying? So it's all good, man. But, like, great performance. I think that uh, the – Top performance probably would go to uh, the, the 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 Viking. The Viking really did it up. He mm -hmm. uh, you know did it out like he was at a game. Like you know what I'm saying this was NFL at its <laughs> finest. This is real. So um, that was probably the the Oscar for that. Then the you know they got the other clowns with the uh, the podium was a good one. I think that's a. Second runner-up. That second runner-up. Supporting. That's a supporting actor. Best supporting actor with the podium, and so on and so on. So, I mean, you would you shouldn't expect them to uh, agree to getting shot and killed and beat up and whatever. This wasn't about that. This was about your 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 mind your mind state, mind control, psychology. So, you know, you see what it is and go from there. But the, my, what I advise everyone to do is to not get emotionally riled up in antics. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's antics. But the, unfortunately, now, that perpetuates a lot of unsuspecting civilians to join in and to participate. And those are the ones that end up going to jail, getting hurt, blah, 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 blah. The, the stars... They contracted. They're not going nowhere. They they just going back home <laughs> so, with that check. So you're basically basing this whole thing like a show, like an artist performing DJ dance. Well, this is all this has all been a show for decades. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I I I, st I started studying and getting knowledge of self in elementary school. So all this bullshit they be doing and preaching and teaching and well, I don't read about this decades ago. You know okay. what I'm saying? World trade. Twin mm. Towers, you know what I'm saying, all this satanic worshiping, pedophilia. I mean, I, I've been new about all of this, so I always was disgusted at everything. <laughs> yeah, I, I just be disgusted. I but just got to keep, I just got to keep my family close and do what it do. You feel me? Mm. And whoever, oh, the people that died are not dead. I don't know. I don't really care. How about that? <laughs> Y'all want to play, but you know what? They got blood thing. You, you. I mean, you've seen, you, you've watched movies at the theater. You know that they can do anything they want to do. In I, I they do what? And, but, oh, and yeah. this is even higher level because it's government now. They could do whatever they want to do, say what they want to say. You know, you could bite a little. You could pop a little blood spill. Ah. Hey, let me tell y'all something. And I didn't even look. I'm gonna mm -hmm. just tell y'all off of my eye, my mind's eye. I do recall, and what y'all want to do is go back and look. The hand that punched the black lady while they was holding her had a glove on it. 
the hand that stuck out and shot the lady had a glove on it. I mean, is that Secret Service protocol, leather, black leather gloves or whatever? I mean, I don't know. For your yeah. own gun? I mean, isn't that licensed? Aren't you licensed to kill? Yeah. So go back and check that. I don't know. I didn't really reflect. I'm just, it just popped in my head just now that I keep seeing this hand with the glove on it. Like, <laughs> you know, and not the body. It's not the body, just the hand sticking out. You feel me? So look, you got to, I've seen better movies. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's B grade at best. That's a B movie at best. You want to impress me? Line the bodies up. Let some civilians go inspect. Take pulses. Everybody, like everybody shot. Everybody shot. Um, that nobody got hurt. Well, this is what I'm trying to tell you. Nobody's gonna get hurt on a movie set. The mm -hmm. the president and them was down in the bunker underneath the White House. Whatever, man. Underneath, they mm -hmm. was just chilling, watching bitches dancing. He's sitting over there chilling, watching the whole thing unfold. This is a major Hollywood production for them. You got to yeah. remember, Trump is a movie star. You know what I'm saying? He comes from TV. Besides being an asshole and a, a, a sleaze bag, he's a, he's a fucking TV guy. You feel me? So there's a major production, major Hollywood production, um, excluding major Hollywood actors. They, they got some B actors from the woods of wherever the fuck they dragged them out from and Wait, they, did a, they did a, a, an outstanding performance. I must say, I was amused. I, love I was we... amused. <laughs> I, I was amused. I would like to, um, you know, I would like to say, you know, I don't want to make light of anyone's death. However, if you feel that you have, that was a super criminal act. 100%. Whether, whether it was, you know, staged or whatever. So had it been real, and had you, Miss Nice Lady with the pretty hair, want to jump through a door first like you built like that, like you ain't got mammary glands, like then, you, then you go ahead and pop, pop, pop. Pop, 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 pop. That's all it is. Mm. It's, it, it was one shot with a glove. The lady got one little hand sticking out with a glove. There's too much hands with gloves around here. Like, who's wearing all these gloves? Where are all these gloves coming from? Is this issue, Secret Service issue or what? It might, it might be. It might be because because you seeing it a lot. Like you said, you seen the gloves. I seen so, some video where like, the police like let the people in or it was a picture more or less. Like, no, no, no. It was a video. I saw the video. I, they opened the gates and it was like, yeah, and another guy stood yeah, behind yeah, like people, ushering like, him. Two running. hands like, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, like. He even yeah. said it. Go, 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 go. You feel about that black dude running, man? Uh, who, somebody was running? Who was running? Police, black dude, like a police, black dude security was in the white. He was in the house. Oh. He was up the steps. Well, see, this is where it get a little sticky because if for him not to do his job, yeah, that was, yeah. that's, the, that's my problem. If you did your job and got your ass whooped out, that's one thing. If you pop somebody, that's another thing. But don't tell me you're just going to run up the stairs backwards. Like, come on, guys, please come. For real, come on. Look, just don't take no more steps. Please, come on. This is my, come on. I got, I got, I got lunch in a minute. I got lunch in 15 minutes. I got, come on, man. Cut it out. <laughs> anyway, all this shit is propaganda. It's a big game. Everybody's involved and we're not. So what you got to do is just pay attention to what's going on as a civilian. Do your, do the knowledge, do your research, go look at stuff, look at stuff again. Look at it like 10 times, man. Then, then call me when you for real, like this. What you, I, I just yeah. wanted to see y'all. I was just, yo, what up, pop? Yeah, yeah, son. <laughs> well, that shit don't matter. That shit is hilarious to me, man. I just wanted to see you, Nikki. You know what I'm saying? As a matter of fact, shout out Nikki, your whole family, man. I grew up with them. I know Mick, Nikki <laughs> said he was a little, cute as a little button, man. That's my little boo right there, man. Don't. You know, the whole family, Rico, Karen, you already know, moms, everybody, pop, look, it's, it's for real. We all family. So in any case, man, stop believing bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Believe in yourself, believe in God, believe in the creator. You know what I mean? You call him what you want, but no, he there. No, no, it's there. I, I ain't going to say he, she. I'm going to say God, the, the omnipotent, the creator of all things. You know what I'm saying? So all this bullshit, all they could do is lie to you and hope you believe it. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's karmic shit, too. So they can't just come out and just straight kill you. They got to trick you into killing you. They got to trick you into killing yourself. 
You understand? Hope it, hope it, and hope it us trick ourselves to go get killed by that movie. Exactly. Being like, oh, yeah, this, that, and the third, come get a vaccination. Now you're <laughs> willingly walking into your own death. Like, they, they don't have no karmic, uh, you know what I'm saying, for that. It, it, you did that to yourself. Yeah, they tricked you, but you did it. That's the, how the devil work. You feel me? That's how Satan work. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's all based on lie. Anything you see on TV, believe it's the opposite. Mm. That's why I don't watch TV. Fuck TV. So you I, just, with I just canceled my cable. Fuck that. This is internet. See Pac on the screen. He's still. He praying. Fuck that. That's what we doing. We ain't, we ain't, we ain't with all that bullshit, son. We, you know what I'm saying? Anything, anything come by past my property, my premises, pop, pop, pop goes my fucking mind. Don't play. That's it. <laughs> Stay away from me. I'm minding my business. I'm minding my fucking business. Mind yours. That's, That's it. That's Lay down. Come down here with a truck, with a flag, with any of that shit. We pop, pop, pop. Fuck the Hollywood shit. That shit is and I live and I live in the South. Mm, and I live in the South. Mm. So wherever, whatever it is, whatever. You know what it is. You know where I'm at. Whatever. My door open, matter of fact. Matter of fact, I'm having a whole fucking Proud Boys uh powwow right now. It's going down. What time is it? 8.45, it goes down. Free chicken. Free chicken and fucking Budweiser. My nigga asked him those flat ways that he'll fight them to the crib. Free ass, Bud Light, nigga. Free Bud Light. Come on, get it. Yo, this ain't I, TV though. This ain't Hollywood, and you ain't ain't no contract over here. <laughs> I know. <laughs> your Ed, you got me going. I got somebody to jump on your Ed. I salute you for jumping in. One love, one love. Salute. Yo, love you. The follower of you all fuck with you. Salute, man. Thank all you. day. Oh my God, my man, Special Ed was telling the truth, boy, talking that knowledge, man. Man, I got so much people in right now. Hold up, man. Let me see if I got my other special guest. I got so much special guests coming in tonight. So much. Oh, man, I got a legend, man. I hope you click in now, man. I got the legend. I got the legend. The Yo. What up, man? We got everybody's uncle up in here. Uncle Ralph. This What's up, bro? Fox is in the building. Salute, Uncle Ralph. What's up, my brother? Hey, yo, I, I, I love I love Special Ed. He's like non-cypher, non-cypher, God. <laughs> and it, 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 and it, it, it doesn't make sense, you know? It doesn't make sense. And, you know, and, and the sister that I was talking earlier, you know, she's absolutely right. You know, it's like, come on, man. Like, how much? How much of this we got to deal with? And, and the thing that for me, you know, we OGs in the game, so we get it. But the young people, they just putting this, all this confusion in their head and all of this craziness. And then want to act want to know why you know people don't believe you know that's 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 the problem man definitely people we got yo we got to open up our eyes a lot i mean we i think we open up our eyes a lot through all this not not through this right here we've been open our eyes but this is the i hope and i pray really pray that this right here is the one that say yo we bugging out we got to stop. Nah, you know, we, we look, let's put it like this, man. We all come from, from a very spiritual place, spiritual roots, right? Okay. You know, so we, we, we good people at, at heart. Unless somebody do something to you, you know, then we could turn into warriors. You know, we turn into another, another, another part of us, you know, but off the top, we good people, man. We don't live like, like, like Ed said, you know, that Satan, that, that we don't live on that side. You know, we live on we live on 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 the good side. You know, that's because right now you're seeing good against evil. That's what you're seeing right now. There's a, there's a fight, and it's and it's and it's going down real hard and real heavy. And so, you know, like like I mean, I believe in everything that Ed said. You know, like take care of your family right now. Watch out for the young men because the young men is out there. They 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 vulnerable. You know, the prison system is 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 is, is slavery. You know, that's that's slavery, you know, and so they just need more slaves to go in there and, you know, and do whatever, print up some 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 paper or do whatever it is that they have you doing up in there. Bring some more slaves in. Bring some more slaves in. Yeah. So so we, we have to be mindful of it because um this is this is when we when we get to the age where we're not gonna be on the gram and we want somebody to at least look out for us on the block to say, nah, that's cool, that's OG. Well, that's 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 mama. Look out for her. That's how we was, want them. See, that's how we grew up. That's how we. Yeah. Grew up. Right. I, I grew up like that, and I definitely know you grew up like that. But this yeah. generation's not growing up like that. So that's no. where this with this bullshit going on today at the White House. These little young bastards, these little dummies, these little gang members, our children, our nieces and nephews, 
We got to start showing like, yo, you see what's going on right here? Right. Y'all got to stop this. Y'all yeah. got to stop You see what's going on right here? Right. This, right. this, this, this is serious. When you talking yeah. about click, click, gang, gang, and color, 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 that shit ain't nothing. You see what's going on at the Capitol? That's yeah. different, brother. Yeah, yeah they, 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 you know, they, they going hard. We never seen nothing. I mean, maybe we have. We just aware of it now. More aware. Of, more. What do they say? Woke. Oh, now. <laughs> so you know. So we, we, you know, we looking at this, and it's, and it's, and it's bad. You know, because you know, for if I'm 18 years old or 17 years old, and I'm watching this, and I'm like, yo, what's going on here? I'm, you know, like, what's, what's, what's this is supposed to be? You know the United States of America. What happened? <laughs> what happened? We looking like a third world country right now. We looking crazy right now. So you know, look, just get your spirit together. Be be mindful. You know, look out for the babies. You know, I, I was I was on a call earlier with my brother, um, um, Bishop Lamar Whitehead, and and you know, and he's dealing with the young people. He's he might be on here now, and he's dealing with the young people. Look. And you looking for him? Yeah. Say so if you want it, Lamar. Say what's up. And um and you know and you know and this is this is this is the 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 the, the madness that we in right now. So, you know, look for 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 us old heads. I'm an OG. I'm an old head, but I always show love to the young people. I'm mad, Ralph. I'm old man. How did you continue? Continue. <laughs> <laughs> Cut it out. Cut it out, Pop. <laughs> hey, look. Hey, look, Pop. Look, you. I remember you running running them streets. You know, <laughs> it's okay. All right, yeah. it's okay. But you, you, you. But you know what? You, you, you. A guy that had, you know, you had some morals, and you had something about you that your parents taught you, or that the, that we or the community taught you, and that you know, when you got to the point where okay, I had enough, <laughs> I had enough. <laughs> you were like, okay, let me see what I can do, and and the things that that the um the your team, the or everybody, not your team, but we are Flatbush. It's not your team. You part of the team. And you know what y'all are doing, man, is is super important. And I know I should have been on here with y'all earlier, you know, before this. But you know, it's 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 in God's time, and so that come on, man, it's all good, Uncle Man. You know, I mean, I mean you talk on the phone, so you know, I don't. We talk. Yes. We talk on a regular. People don't even know. That's right. I talk to my uncle Ralph like regularly, man. Yes, right. That's right. Talk to my man Brian, your brother. Yeah. You call me right there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and and that's and, and and you know we want everybody to win, man. I want everybody to win. You know, look, I, we come. From, I come from them same blocks. Everything that's going down, I figured out a way to get out the way and figure and be focused on what I needed to do to be successful and making movies and everything else that I did. You know, and so continue to keep on doing what you're doing, getting for them young cats, getting to that technology and 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 do all of that, and because that's where it's at. You know, that's where it's at. It ain't going. Everybody ain't going to make it, you know, you know, on, off off the corner. You know, it, it, it just don't work out like that. I'll make it, but, you know, let's hopefully that we can put the knowledge in some of them. You know what I mean? I ain't going to lie. Sometimes I go back to my hood or go back to, you know what I mean, back to my stomping grounds, Ville, the Junction, or around the way on I. And I see some brothers, I'm like, damn, man, come on, you got to get your shit together, man. You gotta get, come on, bro, you got to get your shit together, man. You can't be doing the same shit we did in 88. You can't. Yeah. And it's yeah. no, it no elevation in that, brother. It's no elevation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, everybody, everybody got to get it at their own pace, and we hope and pray that they get it. You know, whenever they get it. So um, that's all I want to say. I know there's a lot of people on here. But you I know, salute you, bro, man. You no, know, the people we gonna have Uncle Ralph. Matter of fact, I'm gonna sit down with Uncle Ralph, and we are gonna have a nice interview. So we are gonna give it to y'all. Salute you, Uncle Ralph, for jumping on the platform. Let the people hear your words, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's Where's Lamar? Well, Lamar, I think Lamar's on there. I think I saw him pop up. I him. I did see him come on, but I'm not seeing him. He's not pinning me. You know, you gotta... Say what's up, Lamar. Yeah. Oh, you got a pin. Got shorty do what? What's up? What's up? Oh, my people's over here. Yeah. Yeah. You know, everybody coming in here, man. I appreciate everybody yeah. for jumping in. I appreciate it. It's the, it just showed that you know what I mean. They got love for me, and I got love for them. And yeah. Flat, it's a flatbush thing. It's not about me. Yeah. Bro. It's a flatbush. Yeah. Nah, yeah how nah. push. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's all it's all unity out here. It might be a lot of separation out here, but it's a lot of unity out here. You know what I mean? We ain't there gonna you go. and get dogged up. We ain't gonna watch. They go Lamar. They go Lamar right there. Oh, let me find him. Bishop Lamar. Let me go. Have live with Bishop Lamar. Okay, hold on. I gotta get ready. I got hold up. All right, Ralph. I'm about to kick you off. I'm not kick you off. <laughs> you gonna step off, Ralph? <laughs> let me get Bishop in here. Let me get Bishop in here. 
But thank you, Uncle Ralph, for jumping in, man. Salute you. Salute. No, nah, I can't kick Uncle Ralph off. I'm sorry, Uncle Ralph, for saying kicking you off, man. But Bishop, Bishop, uh, I'm getting you up in here, man. Uncle Ralph, I'm sorry for saying kick you off. Never disrespect my uncle. Never. But Bishop, what's up, brother? Yo, Swan Gotti, where you at, boy? What's up, brother? How you doing? What's up, brother? How you doing, man? Uncle Ralph said jump you in, says so a fact. When my uncle say, it's, and that's it. My uncle said a word is in. So how do you feel about what's going on at the podium, I mean, at the Capitol? How do you feel about um, the Black Lives Matter, how they, how they dealt with us? How do you feel about everything? Well, man, first of all, man, thank you for having me, man. And I always appreciate Uncle Ralph, man, always plugging me in. Just to give you guys a little bit about me, I'm Bishop Lamar Miller Whitehead, and um, I'm running for the next Brooklyn Bowl president. Um, yeah, man, I'm I'm going to be the youngest uh, Brooklyn Bowl president ever, and I'm from Brooklyn, born and raised in Brooklyn. What part of Brooklyn, brother? I'm from Crown Heights, prospect between Brooklyn and New York. That's our cousin. That's our cousin. That's a Flatbush cousin. Excuse yeah, me. yeah, you know. And um, how do I feel about that? Um, well. My father was uh, killed by the police in 1978. He was beat and strangled to death by 16 police officers, you know, because of the color of his skin, you know. And uh, so when I look at what happened at, uh, on Capitol Hill, I see the, the privilege of what they have been doing to the African-American community and how all 16 police officers gotten off, had gotten off and free from murder charges. Um, and, you know, I'm a whole pastor. So the way I look at it is that God is opening our, our eyes to the community. So therefore we can get up and do what we need to do. And, you know, brother, um, I've been in politics, never a politician, but all the different elected officials, they all reach out to me to do things in the community. I've given in the last eight years, I've given away over five to 6,000 turkeys, clothes. I've, I've gotten so many celebrities out of prison. All the celebrities know me, mm. um, call me every time they get in trouble. So I'm for the streets. I deal with gang members. Um, one of the, my young mentees is from Flatbush right now, five year old farm. All right, okay, for the 90s, for the 90s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, he, he's one of my mentees, a lot of them. So, you know, when we look at Capitol Hill, brother, we have to look at it as we're missing the mark, right? Okay. We have over 2.6 million people in Brooklyn, right? And um, I have a strategist team where we did the research, there's over 600,000 residents in NYCHA alone. And in 2017, only 278,000 people voted to make our current borough president, Eric L. Adams, move into office. Mm. So if we come together, because a lot of people don't even know that Brooklyn has a president. You know, <laughs> a lot of people don't know. I'm gonna keep it real. You didn't know that, you see what I'm saying? So know. at the end of the day, they're telling me, they're like, yo, um, Bishop, you know, you need to do the numbers out here. I said, I don't have to do the numbers. I said, there's a whole community of hundreds of thousands of young men and women that never knew that Brooklyn um, had a president. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I, 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 I need y'all to understand, right, that if we wake up, like the things that you're doing, Ralph told me about what y'all doing. If we all come together collectively, man, and and do what we need to do by voting, by, you know, right now I'm raising money, right? Because it's new to our community, raising money. And our mindset, we're saying, yo, why am I giving you money? For what? Well, the reason why is to campaign because there's strict rules. I can have $3 million and I can only use $1,500 for my campaign. So we, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm capped. Every person is capped at $1,500. So therefore, in order for me to campaign, my peers, my people have to donate. If you guys don't donate, I don't have no money to spend. That's how they tie your hands. So they told me different money politicians. Or evil. Right. So different politicians said, you know, Bishop, you know, we, we, we know you uh, are known to all the celebrities. But guess what? He said, your people are not going to vote and they're not going to donate. That's what they're saying about y'all. 
you know? And at the end of the day... We have that stigma. Right, right. And at the end of the day, if we keep that stigma, they're going to keep doing what they do to us. So I would be the second African-American man to be in, at the Brooklyn Bowl president, and I'll be the youngest ever. You know what I mean? And yeah. I was just on the phone with... Same bitch if you got this hands down. Nah, we, we got to grind, brother. We got to grind, you know? And we all got to... We all, we all got to get together, man, and we all got to unify because I was just on the phone with the district attorney office because one of my initiatives will be um, illegally incarcerated young men and women. Mm. You know, one out of 62 counties in New York State, Brooklyn has one third of the population that have over 25 years and better. Mm. You know, and I was illegally convicted. So. <laughs> yeah, and I, I, I was illegally convicted. They sent me away to prison. They bamboozled, yeah, fake search warrants, all type of stuff. And I got a reversal. You know what I mean? And I, I you know, so he I got a story. A pastor, he went to tell me that. Ooh, you got a story. Yeah, my, my, <laughs> my, 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 one of my slogans is he's one of us. Mm -hmm. And I just and, see, I put that up there. They say you, you one of us. That's right. And that's what's going to I see one of my friends just jumped in here. Sonny went to his name, real name is Taj. He said he used to train you or something like that. Probably train my son. Probably train my son. Like that, yeah, somebody like that. But yeah, continue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So at the end of the day, brother, you know, it's about change, man. It's a, I am the community. You know, I done went to the prison, to the pulpit, now to the office of the president. You know, mm -hmm. it's a whole story, brother. You know what I mean? And we all have grown up from the rock bottom. And now we have somebody that's going to go into the office that's going to be one of you, that's going to understand. You can come... Represent us? Right. Right, right, right. And look like you. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and understand that not only Black lives matter, but all lives matter. And if we can all come together, because if we continuously just look at Black lives matter, it's going to still be unbalanced. It's still going to be unbalanced. But one of the first things that I'm going to do when I become the Brooklyn Borough President I'm going to start our first Brooklyn Black-owned bank mm. ever. Yeah, man, yeah. I want to bring golf, lacrosse, swimming. You know, I'm going to start a whole basketball league where, therefore, we pay think, coaches. What do you think with the lacrosse and all that stuff, the, all type of sport, you think, I'm just saying, I'm just trying to be like, do you think, like, guys, like, black guys, black people want to play these types of games? Yeah, well, yeah. I, and I, guess I, what? I always thought yeah. them games was funny games when I was growing up. Let me tell you something. Yeah, we can play. We 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 are very athletic. And guess what? It's not about going professional with lacrosse. But guess what? Lacrosse might send your son to school free. Okay. You you know what I'm saying? No, I want you to explain it because I'm right. Here. Yeah, yeah. We want to give. I was growing up. I could see kids that maybe were playing lacrosse or play. we play on. If it wasn't basketball or football or baseball, I thought it was a weird, especially tennis. Morrow went by Morrow High School. See brothers playing tennis. What the but I'm just I'm just being real. So by you saying that and I have an open mind now and a different mind state where I'm at, I understand where you're coming from. Like, you know, put your kids in all types of aspects. Like it this don't be one 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 thing. Like I'm saying, like I know when I was growing up, it's only basketball or football. So right. I'll never put my kid in lacrosse. I'll never put my kid in tennis. You know what I'm saying? And and let me tell you what happens when we don't do that. When we don't give the opportunity for our kids to play multifaceted sports, they start to be intimidated by others. Right. You know, when they go to college, That's somebody be like, I'm on a swimming team. They be like, well, what the heck is that? Mm. I'm on a team. Just like how you say, I'm on a team. Well, why can't we have golf, right? Like, 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 if you can play a little bit of golf, you can go on a free ride to school, right? Mm. You know, so what it is is what we have done and what we have allowed society to do is put us in a box of basketball, football, and baseball, right? And then rapping, if you want to call that a sport. <laughs> I'm joking. But you know what I'm saying? So it's it's like it's it's it's, it's, it's like <laughs> you, you know, so so we so we 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 have allowed them to put ourselves in a box. In a box where if we don't make it out of one of those doors, we back on the streets. But you we, know? We no box. We ain't allowed them to put ourselves we put our stuff in a box like like I just said, I would have never did that when I was growing up. When I was growing up, I would have never did that, or my brother would have never said we're gonna play. I laughed at people that played tennis. You want to know why? 
because you didn't understand it. And that's why I said we did it. Our leaders, our leaders never taught us the, the importance of being multifaceted, right? Swimming, right? Tennis, golf, lacrosse. But all see, that is... I'm, I'm, I'm going to answer that. My family's from the West Indies. It wasn't no golf there. It wasn't no lacrosse there. It wasn't, you know what I'm saying? And, 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 and my generation, my father, my mother's in them, their, their way of thinking is totally different than ours. You know what I'm saying? Like, my father never wanted me to go to the beach. My father never wanted me to go to a pool. Why? Because he ain't know how to swim. So he's like, if I ain't know how to swim, you ain't going, you ain't going in the pool because you ain't going to drown. So that's their fear of certain shit. Me raising my son, I kind of I kind of broke a couple of them barriers down, like what you're trying to say, but I still had to cut for the stigma of I'm not going to do this and I'm not going to do that. You understand what I'm saying? But now I rely on certain things like seeing my son growing up, I'm like, damn, he could have did this, he could have did that. It wasn't only about basketball. It wasn't only about football. You know? Let me ask you a question, right? Let me ask you a question. So, you know, your, your, you know, your mom and your father knew, you know, you from Flatbush and you came from the streets, right? Now, what, what, what if you call your, your parents and say, yo, one of my brothers is the president of Brooklyn? Mm -hmm. You see, it's a different type of hit. Right. Different the, the, type of tone. You, the time that I grew up, Mm -hmm. it's th that's the stigma of then. See, mm -hmm. the transformation of now, Right. It's, it's like, you know, we have a black president. We see Donald Trump doing the dumb shit. Like, we see it all that. Before, we was more of a fear thing. Because mm -hmm. we were out of the fear of slavery. You know what I mean? So they more of, don't do this and don't do that. Now, we feel more comfortable to say we want to do or do that. You know right. You know what I'm saying? Right, and, and let me tell you this, man. You, you, you. What you got? The movement y'all got. We are Flatbush. That's big, brother. You know what I'm saying? You guys get get with me, man. We get together. We definitely, you know? yeah, we definitely. Yeah, man. Like, like, like. You guys are big, man. And and um, I had looked through your page and stuff after Ralph told me about you, and I see that we know the same people, you know. And and you guys are doing the same thing now. You will have the bold president office behind y'all, man. You know what I mean? We we gotta build. We gotta build an army, man. And we have to be able to have a voice. You know, when I become the president of Brooklyn, you know, we got access to the White House now. We got access to the government office now. We, we, I'm, I'm, I'm making sure men that are illegally incarcerated, men and women, come home. I had a conversation with the, with the DA today, and he said, Bishop, you know, I need some help with, with some things. Huh? Now I'm just saying, free my man Biz Low. You say you trying to get people out. Free my man. Yeah, 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 yeah. And 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 I can hey. I can come I can come to the table to the district attorney because of the things that I have already done and how he respects me. We're about to do a lot of different events together as we all always do. But he has a bill that he told me about that I'm going to help him with, and it's before the assembly. And this bill is if you have 25 years in prison or more, like if you've been sentenced to 25 years or more, after 15 years, he, if you've been doing good conduct in prison and things of that nature, he can send, he can file a motion to get you out of prison. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because there's a lot of us brothers that's up there with 50 to life, mm. 40 to life, 75 years, 127 years, 120, mm. like, 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 listen, that's a death sentence. Brother, brother, that's brother, a, brother, that's a, brother, I, I, I know you want to talk deep in it, but we about to get cut off, right? Okay, all right, all right. All right. I want to let the people know, y'all got to go out there and donate some money to my brother here. Yeah. You got to help my man right here so we can reach to the top so he can help us. Right. Yeah. Brother, yeah. I'm going to get Ralph up. Me and you going to talk. We yes. are Flatbush and Bishop, we're going to build on this. Yo, Ace, we want in, like my man Ace just said. We yeah. want in. I got some more other guests coming in for the next hour. But, brother, I appreciate you for coming in. You got some last words you want to say quickly? Yo, I just want to say you already in, brother. We, you one of us. I'm one of y'all, man. We, 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 we're here together. Listen, if you want to follow me, y'all go on my page. I see it at the top. Or please donate. We, we have our first filing on this Monday. So you can either go to my page, hit the bio, and you'll it'll take you right to the donation page, or you can go to my website, Lamore, L-A-M-O-R-M, Whitehead.com. 
you know, lamoremwhitehead.com. And you see my team up there, they, 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 they're sending every, all the donation. Oh boy. <laughs> huh? The team is in the comment link. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Once I move, they move. We, we don't hate on none of that over here. We, we, this is a platform for us. Do That's your right. thing. Brother? Well, I'm telling you this, brother. More links. Throw more links in it. Yeah, I'm telling you this, brother. Once I'm into the borough, borough of, as the borough president, I got your back, okay? There's so much monies out there that will help you do what you've already been doing because I see you've been doing it by yourself. So there's so much discretionary funds that I'm going to be uh, um, exhausting to people like you, real official people not these fake dudes that get a little bit of money and talk about this this all this other nonsense i ain't with it i appreciate that man this word we're gonna hold you by them words but we appreciate let that. me tell you something brother let me tell you something hold me brother this 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 my candidacy me going into office is life or death i can only let me tell you something brother i can only live bro and let my people live i can never turn my back on y'all you ain't ever got to worry about that Ooh, you heard ain't that ever got to worry about that. I heard that, people. Y'all heard never, that. You ain't ever got to worry about that. <laughs> Move it. <laughs> Do the research, brother. Everybody going to tell you about the bishop. It's you ain't true. ever, you ain't ever got to worry about the that. the bishop. That's right. Donate to the bishop. That's right. Yo, thank you so much, brother. So we'll talk tomorrow. We're definitely going to talk. We're definitely going to talk. Salute All right. to the bishop. Donate to the bishop. Thank you, brother. No doubt. All right. Yo, man, we had the, oh, my God, man, we, we going strong, man.